Artists, storytellers, beatmakers, this is the latest news, deals, and free plugins from the music production world. And today we're unboxing the Mbox Studio by Avid. Let's get to the news first. Superbooth is happening in May and tickets are on sale right now. Superbooth is one of the coolest music, instrument, and technology events held in Berlin. And as in previous years, we're probably gonna see some new product launches, live performances, and workshops. Hopefully they post some of that stuff online for us all to enjoy. This year's Superbooth will be held from May 11 to 13. I'll add a link below if you're interested in going. Music producer and DJ Kashmir has released another new plugin, a reverb, this time in collaboration with WA Productions. Do we need another reverb? Well, this one has some interesting tricks, including an auto ducker, auto gate, reverse, and a tone manager that can tame harsh attacks from the reverb signal. I'm really glad companies are coming up with useful tools built into reverb plugins these days. If you remember, Baby Audio's Crystalline plugin also featured some extremely useful tools for reverb manipulation. Another thing, didn't I just talk about Kashmir Chain last week? Hey Kashmir, maybe it's time you come onto this channel to talk to our community. What do you guys think? Should we get Kashmir on the Sanjay C channel? Comment below. Kashmir Reverb is available right now at a discounted price of $19.95, and there's a free trial as well. Link is below. And new plugins keep rolling in. Hot on the heels of Valve's released last week, Native Instruments has now introduced a new instrument, a hybrid vocal keys instrument that includes some very cool playable vocal sounds and vocal chops. Some of the presets are playable over the entire keyboard and others are split into vocal chops and then playable sounds for the rest. Reminds me a lot of Exhale by Output. I'm really happy there are more vocal plugins like this now. Vocal chops add that classic ear candy to your tracks. Duet is available now for $49, which is a great price for over one gigabyte of content. Link is below. It's time for Plugin of the Week. Every week I check out a cool plugin and give you an exclusive discount code for it. This week you can get Claro by Sonics for $34 instead of $134 using the link below in the code Sanjay55. This is the lowest price ever for Claro. Claro is an EQ plugin with a really useful feature. The ability to EQ tracks and then compare EQs across your whole mix. And the visuals really let you understand how EQ is affecting your sound. There are three different views. Produce, Tweak, and Mix. The Produce view gives you a quick way to adjust EQ while you're building your song. The Tweak view lets you get surgical when you need to. The Mix view is really awesome. You get a view of all Claro instances across your whole mix, all tracks, and now you can see clearly where competing sounds need correction. Super useful. You can download a trial version of Claro to try it before you buy it, but remember, the discount code only works for a week. So if you're ready to buy it, use the link below and the code Sanjay55 to get it for $34. Okay, we've got the unboxing of the Mbox Studio audio interface in just a bit, and it's got some unique features, but I have a question first. What are the top features you look for in an audio interface? Number of inputs, quality of recordings, price, Comment below. The Mbox Studio by Avid. It's here. Before we get started, I have to tell you a little story. When I first started music production, I remember the original Mbox coming out. And back then it worked with Pro Tools. This is like early <laughs> 2000s, early 2000s. Wait, have they been around that long? They've been around forever. This is Pro Tools. This is the Pro Tools company. Back then I wasn't using Pro Tools. I was still using Logic back then. But now, guess what? This Mbox Studio works with all DAWs. Let's check it out. Let's do it. Right. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Dublin, Ireland. Ireland. What? You should welcome us to Ireland. Oh, we got power. We got, oh, you can't, okay. Let's get okay. it out of here. I want to see all the lights. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Ah, there it is. You want to do the honors and pull off the plastic? Oh gosh. Here we go. I'm someone that actually keeps the plastic on for as long as possible. I don't like that. I'm the opposite. <laughs> Take it off immediately. Wow. No, take care of it. Don't touch it. Pretty cool. Ooh, they're very smooth. Let's check out the back. You got so many connectors in here. Wow, wait a second. So you've got two microphone line connectors in the back. 
You got two in the front too, and coaxial in and out, and MIDI in and out. Wow, and the power button. And the power That's button. We need the power button. I love this purple cable. Ready to plug it in? Yes, plug it in. Plug it in. Yeah, oh. all right. Lighting up, lighting up. Ooh, Woo! check it out. Look at that. All right, connect to your headphones. Okay, we've got our headphones in. Let's add a microphone. Can you hear me? All right, so this is very, very low. We need to turn it up a lot. That's much better. All right, now we're recording well. <laughs> and now is it really loud for you? It's like you're in my brain. Okay, so the Mbox Studio has four mic slash line input. So you've got two up front here and two in the back. And it's a 24-bit 192 kilohertz audio interface. Uh, we've got two stereo monitor outs that you can see back here, two headphone outputs that we're using up here, and it's got Bluetooth. It's got a talkback mic. This talks back to you? <laughs> did you say what this did? What what does? This whole thing. It's an audio interface. Yeah, I said it in the beginning. Mm, okay. All right, so now we're recording through the Mbox Studio into Ableton. You can use this with any DAW, not just Pro Tools. Okay, so this is the volume to your main speakers. You can press this in. You can use your alternate studio monitors, which is cool. Does something dig in there? I don't know what that means. <laughs> dig into your soul and start <laughs> making the music you love. You got Link. You got a bunch of things. You got a pad. Okay, so you've got the microphone input volume here. Oh, Supposedly this can tune your guitar. Let's try that. That might be something fun. The tuner is on. I've got the guitar hooked up here and now it can tune a guitar. Check this out. That's an E. Look, it's showing an E. It's an E. And it's saying it needs to be tuned D2. higher. What is that? D high? Look at that. Yes, now it's green because <gasps> it's good. For those of you that feel like you're not good at listening to things, use this. That's what tools are for. Very cool. This actually works really well. You can see it on your screen and you can also see it right on this interface. So you don't have to look at the computer. You can just tune your guitar with this thing. That is so cool. The Mbox Studio is $8.99 and it's a really nice quality interface. It is pretty big, so you gotta have space for this stuff. What do you think? I think this deserves to be on top of the desk. This is really beautiful. This is actually really nice for podcasters too, because you have the two headphone outputs, you have two mic inputs, you see everything right here, so it's very visual. You don't mm -hmm. want to keep looking at your computer or anything like that. This is the most full-featured interface we've ever unboxed. It's pretty cool. It is. I mean, usually the interfaces are this small, right? And it has like two knobs and, and maybe a, a button. Exactly. Like we hope for one button to turn it on and off. <laughs> but this is like, this is crazy. This is really, really cool. You get a bunch of software with this too and amazing build quality and very interesting looking thing. And a big shout out to Gorov because literally this is for you. If you're interested in the Mbox Studio, we'll put a link below the video. Hello, dear MTMYL community members. Hope you're doing well. We've got another artist for you this week. Meet Alex AZ Zamora. Alex is from the Bay Area. He used Studio One and the Native Instruments acoustic guitar, Session Horns for the brass, Omnisphere for some pads, and Sublab for the 808. Alex is constantly sharing his talents and music on his social media with really cool backgrounds, I must say. So make sure to follow Alex AZ Zamora on Instagram and show some love. To have your music featured on Sunday C News, create a public post featuring your original instrumental music, tag Sunday C, and hashtag Sunday C News, cause that's how we find your music. Hope you have a great weekend. Okay, I've got a free plugin for you today, but before we get to it, a word from our sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is the way to get your music on Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, Tidal, everywhere. And it's inexpensive. Plans start at $20 a year to upload unlimited albums and songs. And they've got a cool feature called Spotify Canvas Generator. It lets you add video clips royalty-free to your songs. These visuals play while your music is played. You've probably seen this before on Spotify. Well, now you don't need to record your own video, you can just choose a canvas. Get features like this and collect your earnings for plays and streams using DistroKid. I'll add a link below to get a discount on your first year of membership. Today's freebie comes from Audio Damage. It's a super popular compressor with over a half a million downloads. It's called Rough Rider 3. This compressor is not supposed to be transparent. It colors the sound 
intentionally. But with the latest version, you have more control to get a more neutral sound if you want it. You can download Rough Rider 3 using the link below. One of the nicest headphones I reviewed lately is also one of the cheapest I've ever tried. Watch my latest video comparing the most popular headphones under $100 right here. Keep making the music you love. Bye.